Good afternoon everybody, hope you're all doing well and enjoying what daylight we have and that you're enjoying nature in all its forms. I wanted to do a quick video and just show you all the things that are happening in the garden at the moment. Autumn obviously here because loads of things are now going over and yellowing of leaves and flopping over and things but there's still lots here. I've still got dahlias flowering that celery is looking like it's holding on for dear life so I'll chop away the dying leaves around the edge sometime in the next two weeks look bumblebees still on the borage we're still getting bumblebees on the borage the rhubarb is flopping over now it'll be soon time to clear away those leaves and pile on a bunch of wood chips over the top of that for the winter um, the salvia is still growing really nicely with beautiful flowers and the bumblebees are still feeding off that. Um, my anemones have a second round of flowers, look at that, just opening up, beautiful. The nasturtium also still seems quite happy. The aronia berries over there are, the leaves are turning red now, right next to the acer. I can't wait till that acer is at least five or six foot tall with a canopy that's going to be so exciting look at this remember how tall that compost pile was when i did the chop and drop it has completely shrunk down it is rotting away so fast it's really sheltered in there and i'm really happy with that really lovely i'm glad i knew it would be sheltered enough in there and that compost is forming really quickly it's gone right down but very soon when i put the rhubarb there um, it's going to do the same again. I'm not going to tidy up the leaves um, from between the plants as they fall off the trees and the shrubs. They're going to stay right there on the ground as they do in nature. But I will do other tidying up like pruning of the roses. And I might leave the hydrangea for spring because it's still absolutely beautiful. Look at that. It's still absolutely gorgeous. Even though the flowers are no longer bright purple and pink, they go into that burgundy color and they're still beautiful. The leaves are still lush, so I'm not gonna chop that just yet. The honeyberry has grown twice the size it was last year. So hopefully they'll do all right. I can't wait for the winter color of the stems. They go a beautiful bright red, there's the other one. But what I wanted to show you was we seem to have had a sudden outbreak of look at them absolutely everywhere it's even worse in the back garden you should see it and though I usually wouldn't do anything about it I am going to have to trim off the leaves with the caterpillars on and stick them in the composter hopefully the birds and other critters will be digging in the compost to get to them but that is just ridiculous you should see the front guard the back garden even worse look at it absolutely everywhere and it's not just those caterpillars it's the green ones the cabbage white as well they're everywhere too i'll show you in a minute There you go. Everything seems to be doing really nicely. There's the Nepalese cabbage come back again. I can harvest some of those. Some fresh lavender flowers. They're still growing really lovely. Look, sweet williams. Still got sweet williams flowering too. That's quite surprising. The kale, loving that corner there between the wisteria and the hawthorn. And I still have a couple of um, sweet peas. Achillea needs cutting down to the new growth. Still have a few roses here and there. Chamomile still flowering. You know, things are still doing okay. Needs tidying up on some things. And when I say tidy up, I don't mean tidy up like a pristine garden. Look. Carnations ready to flower. Look at that. In October. Can you believe that? End of October almost and we're still getting things flowering. There's still some more anemones there as well. They also look like they're ready to flower. 
So I'm really glad. I'll show you in the back garden quickly. Excuse the mess. It's been a busy week. I got laundry doing. And here we go. Look, I'll show you this. Even here under the cover, they have got everywhere. Look. There, look at that. And there. And they've completely almost destroyed this lot. So I'm gonna have to tidy up there first thing in the morning before everybody else gets up. Things are surviving, my lettuce seeds already. Oh look, another caterpillar hiding just there they're so expert at hiding aren't they the fennel's still doing well the leeks and this the um, bunching onions are doing well oh there you go these beetroot are still doing well i might just leave them in there and see how well they do if i get baby beetroot that's fine um things need a little watering under cover as well cherry cutting still surviving there so we'll see how they go I love that beautiful tricolour heather, absolutely lovely, I adore that colour, it's wonderful, gladioli finally gone over so that can be left a bit longer now, oh the leaves have finally come off the um, arctic kiwis look at that that's dried out that's terrible i have to get a good prune and proper watering and compost last of the beans drying out here they're not quite papery yet last of the tomatoes they're shrinking now there's not very many left of them the carrots as you can see are doing perfectly fine they're doing okay i'm gonna have to earth up again though don't want them going green Things are looking a little sad there, need to tidy up. The baskets are going over, but look at those flowers. They're still flowering. I just love that. This has given them really good cover. Lots of seeds, so I'll spread them around as well in the front garden for next season. So if I just spread them around, they'll overwinter. And look at this, Achillea. Still beautiful. You still only just have to brush them like that and the smell just wafts everywhere. Okay, we figured out how to sort, ouch, sort out some of the overflow thingy problem. I have got some guttering at the back of the shed. I'm going to just lay underneath this small piece of hose that we had by the other bin as the downpipe from the other guttering. But, miraculous, it just clipped onto the water butt tap. So I'll put the other guttering under there and lead it to the drain. I don't want the water. The water's been going all along the concrete and water and concrete do not go. And there's a seam in the path there. So I want to make sure the water doesn't get in there. And I don't want it hitting the corner of the wall in the path. I want it going into the drain. So I'll put the um, guttering there. But the other hose pipe I discovered does exactly the same thing <laughs> for that guttering. <laughs> How handy was that? So I just connected the hose pipe straight to that. And now I don't have to spend half an hour emptying those two water butts and getting soaked in the heavy rain. Hello, it's me again. Yes, it is. There's still Borage and Calendula. Borage, Calendula. The kale is still going. And look at that beautiful Antirhinum. The snapdragons. Love them. Love you too. See you in a minute. There you go. These seed heads. Look, the seeds have fallen everywhere and I've got aquilegia coming up absolutely everywhere. I'll leave them. I'll keep one or two plants and transplant them elsewhere in the front garden and maybe in some pots to carry on along the fence like those. And the beetroot's still going fine over there. Mama? Yes, darling. To let you know, I'm watching <gasps> Okay, Grandma will be with you in about five or ten minutes, okay? Look at I've just discovered. Oh, no. That is just awful. Look at that. The beasties, it's war. And there, 
is your cabbage white, the green one. Those ones are not cabbage white. I've always seen these ones laid from the cabbage white, but there you go, they could be anything. So I know that some of them have survived, but we don't need that many. Look at that, they've destroyed, they've destroyed that plant. I'm gonna have to cut off those leaves and hopefully the plant will recover. I don't know that it will. Lamb's lettuce, just from self seeding everywhere. Look at that, absolutely massacred. Oh my goodness, the rocket's still going. I'll still pick some of the newer leaves um, to use. Oh, they're even on the rocket, look at that. Horrid little beasties. Pretty when they're butterflies, but that's just ridiculous. Oh, the amaranth looking sad now. The yakon inside with its spindly legs because it's had to push up and grow up tall to get through to the sun. Oh. We've already had a frost last week, but the yakon has survived. Look at it. There's a caterpillar on the yakon. That has never, ever, ever happened before. Yakon is usually resistant to absolutely anything. Never have problems with the yakon, either in pest or disease. The only things we ever have problems with yakon are slugs on the tubers under the ground. Oh, look at those flowers. The Jerusalem artichoke. Worth growing just for their beautiful, beautiful flower. And you know what? It's got to come down because it's breaking the trellising and it's going to fall over. So I'm going to have to cut them down soon, even though they're flowering. Oh, that is looking a mess. That, that comfrey, the last bit, I'm going to chop and stick it in the bucket to rot down for spring, for feed. Oh, look, I've still got raspberries. Look at that. Still got raspberries too. Wow, this one, the old leaves, the old stem is going to be chopped down and that new branches are gonna be tied in oh look at that that's my it doesn't quite feel ready yet let's hope the birds don't spot it it's disguised between the red leaves oh no something has found that one something has found that one and eaten it that one's still there okay hmm and there's another one so I've got three surviving three berries that's it I might have to take some cuttings of this plant just to ensure I've got others. Look at the colour on those blueberries. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love that colour. Gooseberries still have leaves on them as well. Everything is holding on for dear life. Ah, oh, look at that lupin plant still hanging on there. I think I'll put that in the front garden just to put in loads of colour. Oh, look at this. This is my blackthorn slowberry, and it has really shot up. That's lovely. Happy with that. I'm going to train into all sorts of spiral stems for walking staffs to coppice. For, for making more walking staffs. Look at the length of that one. And I think... Is that the raspberry? Or is it... Um, yeah, that's the thornless blackberry, I think. Could be a rush, but I think that's more a thorn, uh, thornless blackberry. We'll see. We'll see next year. Oh, there's my asparagus. Oh, look at the beautiful feathery leaves. Isn't that just beautiful? I have to tie you in there so you don't flop over. The pool, the uh, pond, has filled itself completely again. Got to get onto that soon. These, the loofah not going to survive not ripe it's still nice and tough this one is really solid but i think the frost got to it last week so i i'll feed it again anyway and see how it goes i'll just leave it and see i'll just have to order new seeds for next year there's no way i can get around that leaves yellowing on the apple trees um and the jostaberries himalayan honeysuckle over there still looking beautiful i've had all the quince off that bush well not real quince they're false quince the budlier is setting flowers well set seed actually it's had its flowers there's now seed growing there and new shoots look at that 
oh and a new flower still flowering my pond plant i can't even remember its name but look at that isn't that just a beautiful color against that green so pretty so still flowers even in the back garden the figs still holding on we have two little figs this one but i don't think it'll last looks a bit damaged and that one over there so two figs on there for next year look lamb's lettuce found its way there too so i can pick that actually to go in salad um look on my brussels sprouts they are absolutely everywhere oh, oh my goodness now look at that Le that looks like a rather ugly lace now hmm there you go but at least the yakon still looks nice i don't think we're going to get flowers off that i think we'll probably get a good frost before those flowers come up so we had flowers last year you don't often get flowers on yakon in the uk but i think if i put them out earlier this year i wasn't going to trust it with all the um the snow we had in march but if i'd put them in bigger pots ready to go out earlier I think they'd have been flowering by now because we've had a really good year for summer. Look at that. Oh, and that is on my Swede. They are absolutely everywhere. On my Swede, on the Yakon, on absolutely everything. We've had a sudden outburst, an infestation. And that one. Look. That's my foot there. Look at the size of that Swede. It's got to come up or it's going to go too woody, I think, to use. The grape finally losing its leaves. Look at those flowers on the hanging basket still. Lovely. So still plenty of interest. Lots to do though, because, I mean, look, they're still there by that gladiola that hasn't flowered yet. Little viola so they're still pretty things they're still vegetables but there's an infestation of horrible caterpillars <sighs> there you go look at that kale over there that's totally laced all the wings the the laced the wings seriously laced the leaves but yeah still plenty going on happy with that but look how this is leaning it's just Oh, it's going to go over at any time if we get more wind like we did with the last storm. But it stood up to that storm. This garden has survived that storm. So it's not too bad in here. We are pretty sheltered between the raised houses up there and um, the fencing, that extension on the neighbor's house and this cover and that hedge so and there's a tall hedge at the back as well so we this garden does have quite a bit of shelter even though we still do get the effects from the storms it's never really as dramatic as elsewhere but anyway that's where we are update on the garden today i've got more crafts to do order to finish with those little man the um mary and joseph nativities the angels i finished last night they're all completely done and ready um what else kitchen to do dinner to do mountain of stuff and traveling back and forth to the hospital in swansea so yeah lots going on and i will catch up with you as and when i can oh look the fever few over there i think i should get a few more of those flowers to store and dry the flowers and the leaves i'm gonna get some of that actually Hi. time to go my bye. lovely all right then we'll say goodbye okay One. i'm coming in now i'll do dinner now okay okay all right then all right lovelies time's up One, speak to you soon two, three, bye, bye.